In Fallout New Vegas, after being dug out of a shallow grave, we will meet Doc Mitchell, the Good Springs Town doctor. Mitchell will guide us through character creation while offering some delightful banter along the way. When it comes time for the Vidomatic Vigor Tester, Doc Mitchell has a ton of dialogue that can be triggered by going extremely high or terrifyingly low on each special stat. That's some serious atrophy, even for someone who's been in bed a while. It's a wonder you can move at all. Surprised anybody would want to tangle with you. Heck, you could go deathclaw hunting with a switch. Now, I ain't no optometrist, but maybe we should fit you for some glasses while you're here. <laughs> Nothing gets by you, huh? Could have used you when I lost my keys last month. I just don't get it. A stiff breeze would tear you in two, but a couple of bullets and you're right as rain. I guess that explains how you're still alive. You're built solid as an oak. Huh. Must be some frontal lobe damage. <laughs> Good to see them bullets didn't affect your charm none. Sorry, son. I fixed up your head as best I knew how. I guess I missed a spot. Look at that. Maybe them bullets done your brain some good. Don't have all your coordination back yet, looks like. You should think about doing some rehab. <laughs> Most patients don't get out of bed after being shot and then move like they was in perfect control. You're unusual, I'll say that. Now that don't make a lick of sense. Seems to me you're the luckiest son of a gun in New Vegas. With luck like yours, I'm surprised them bullets didn't just turn right around and climb back into the gun. Yeah, that's a pretty standard score there, but after what you've been through, I'd say that's great news. Doc Mitchell will also have different items to give out depending on your build, like the boxing gloves for unarmed characters. Fallout New Vegas never ceases to impress me with how much detail it has packed into such a great game. Get fucked.